Google Cloud Next 2017 hosted a veritable buffet of talks detailing the future of cloud. If you didn't get a chance to catch the session, Google Cloud Storage Best Practices, then stay tuned, because here is the recap. Cloud Storage offers a great set of features for writing, storing, and distributing content for whatever application you're building. When you're considering performance for your GCS use case, most people only consider whether they should set up the bucket to be regional, multi-regional, nearline, or cold storage. But there's a few more things to consider if you'd like to really maximize your performance. In general, GCS is really strong in terms of single stream throughput. However, there's typically a fixed latency cost per request. So obviously, for the best performance, you should really favor larger requests in order to optimize your throughput. But this isn't always an option. Sometimes you're just stuck with small objects, in which case getting the best performance means paralyzing your requests so there's overlapped fixed latency costs and avoiding resumable requests, since the overhead of round trips on lots of small objects can add up to be a significant problem. Now, when serving data, you generally have the choice of regional or multi-regional buckets. Regional is really good for compute scenarios because you typically want your VMs close to your data source to maximize throughput. And you don't want the overhead of bookkeeping that's needed for multi-regional redundancy. You'll see higher throughput in this case. Multi-regional, on the other hand, is great for serving content since it can achieve great remote latency due to usage of CDNs where Google will automatically push assets to the edges of its network based upon usage patterns without you having to do any heavy lifting. Now, writing data to GCS is a completely different problem. Most people, when writing to a GCS bucket, quickly find that they hit a wall or ceiling, a, basically a point in which things don't get any faster. When we see this, we generally find that the developers are writing sequential file names to their GCS buckets. Uh, the reason this causes a performance problem has to do with how GCS shards and load balances your write requests internally so that they scale. When you've got sequential names, the balancer can't properly segment and move things around as efficiently, hence the bottleneck. Now, to address this, firstly try to submit buckets of work in parallel. For example, the foo and bar folders can be uploaded in parallel without stomping all over each other. Secondly, consider prepending a hash of the file name to the file name itself, which, given the distributed nature of your hashing algorithm, will create a nonlinear distribution of file names resulting in better load balancing. If you'd like some more details on these GCS performance optimizations, as well as a cool demo on using a Hadoop with GCS, check out the full Next video. And if you want more recaps on great Next content, make sure to check out the rest of our playlist.